Sorry for the delay, my wife and I got COVID, but we are getting better. Today's video covers installing Nextcloud behind a reverse proxy. The reverse proxy features DuckDNS along with an auto renewing Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. First, we'll create a share for easy access to our app data folder, and then we'll collect the information needed to modify the Docker Compose file below. Finally, we'll turn up the stack via a command line interface. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not, so let's get to it. First thing we need to do is copy our config into Notepad. And then we're gonna fill in the information as we go along. So let's head on over to Open Media Vault so we can get logged in. And then we're gonna go to Shared Folders under Access Rights Management on the left. And then we're just gonna create or add a new share. And we're gonna call it App Data. The device is gonna be our storage array. The path should populate automatically. And just leave the permissions as is and go ahead and click Save and then apply at the top and then confirm it. Now we need to copy the absolute path for our containers. So we just mouse over relative path and click the little down arrow, go to columns and an absolute path. And we can see our path here. And just control P on your keyboard as if you're gonna print this screen. And then we can copy the path right here. And now let's go back over to notepad. So now we're gonna use the replace feature in our notepad. So just hit control H. And then in the replace with field, we're gonna paste our absolute path we just copied. And then under where it says find what, we're gonna copy your absolute path here. And make sure there are no spaces at the end of that as well and hit replace all. Now lines 11, 12, 25, and 42 should have updated. And then while we're in here, we need to adjust the Maria database password on line 22. Back over to Open Media Vault, we need to create a user. So let's go to Users under Access Rights Management. Click on the Add and then Add again. We'll name it Nextcloud. Give it a password. Confirm the password and then hit Save. And then go ahead and Apply and then Yes to confirm. Go to SMB and SIFS on the left under Services. And then we need to enable SMB. And then now let's go to shares and hit add. And then under the shared folders here, our app data folder should be listed. We can just leave everything as default and hit save. And now we're going to apply this and confirm it. This will share the folder over the LAN so we can access it from our Windows box. It'll make modifying uh, the files later easier outside the command line interface. So let's go ahead and test access to our shared folder. You open up Windows Explorer and in the address bar type in two backslashes followed by either the server name or the IP address. It'll prompt you for the uh, username and password and we'll just use the one that we just created for uh, um, on Open Media Vault. Now let's head over to duckdns.org to collect the last bit of information we need. In order to use DuckDNS as services you have to log into their web page so go ahead and use one of the options at the top to get logged in once you're logged in you'll be given a token here and we need to copy this token into our config on the line 40. be sure there are no spaces or anything like that with it in order for the let's encrypt certificate to renew itself you must enter your email address that you logged into the web page with on line 39. And now back over to DuckDNS's web page. We need to create a subdomain that we're going to use for Nextcloud. I'm going to type in sstest. And now this is sstest.duckdns.org. Go ahead and add domain there. And now we can copy this. And paste it into our config. It will go on line 36. And then if necessary, go ahead and adjust the time zones for your containers. Otherwise, we're gonna hit Control S to save this file. When saving the config file, we're gonna rename it to Docker 
backslash compose.yaml and then click save. And now we need to copy our Docker compose file into our app data folder. So let's head over to our desktop and grab our file and then back to Windows Explorer and we should still be in our app data folder. And then we'll just paste the file in here. We need to forward port 443 in the router to point it to the swag container. This process is gonna vary depending on your router. I use an ASUS router, so here's the web GUI for ASUS. Here in the ASUS router, we get a WAN on the left, and then virtual servers and port 14 at the top. And then we're just gonna add a profile. We'll call it Nextcloud. And the external ports, the SSL port 443. And we're gonna direct this over to our internal server. and then we'll enable the port forwarding. Before we bring up our containers, we need to create a new bridge network. The newly created bridge network will allow the containers to talk to each other over the host names. Let's putty into the OMV server. And then this command here will create a new bridge network named Nextcloud. If you rename this from anything other than Nextcloud, be sure to update the Docker Compose config file. Now that we have our new bridge network, let's turn up the containers. We need to change directory to the app data folder to the absolute path. Let's jump back into our config and copy that. And then inside the app data folder, you can see our Docker file. Now to bring up the containers using Docker compose, it is just docker dash compose up. And then we're going to do a dash D to run it detached. Back to our app data folder. We'll just refresh this and we see we have three new folders that pertain to our containers. So we need to modify one of the proxy config files for the swag container. So let's just go ahead and go into swag and in config, then in Genix, and then proxy comps. And then what we're looking for here is the Nextcloud subdomain. And then I personally make a copy of it first. And then we can rename this one. I don't like modifying the original in case we need to go back to it for any reason. Okay, and now that we have this renamed, we need to restart the swag container so that it will reload this configuration file. So let's jump over into Portainer. And then we'll restart our swag container. Now let's browse to your DuckDNS domain using the HTTPS protocol. Be sure to add Nextcloud to the beginning of your URL. My example here, it's using HTTPS and then it's nextcloud.sstest.duckdns.org. Now we just need to create an admin account and select storage database. We're gonna select MySQL MariaDB. The username is root. The password is whatever you specified in your Docker Compose file. And the database name and host name both, both will be MariaDB. And this will take some time to finish installing the recommended apps and doing its thing, but that's pretty much it. If you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment to say hi. Until next time, have a great day and thanks for watching.